Today, for the first time in months, we are crafting a brand new sword, the ultimate zombie slaying machine, the Axe of the Shredded, a critical step on our journey to making the Warden Helmet. But first, we have a few more materials to get, including one more Shard of the Shredded, which is an ultra rare drop from Zombie Slayer. Hopefully, this won't take too long. So the remaining ingredients for our Axe of the Shredded is one Shard of the Shredded, the RNG drop from Zombie Slayer, it looks like this, it's kind of like a light blue cube, and four stacks of Revenant Viscera, either crafted with flesh and some string, or occasionally dropped from the Tier 5 Zombie Slayer boss as well. So I think the best plan is to set up some minions to get the string, and then just get to work doing as many Tier 5 Slayer quests as possible. So the next step we need is to get an absolute abundance of enchanted string to make the rest of the viscera for the axe. So what I'm going to be doing is setting up some tarantula minions right here. And these will be our main workers for getting the string. And unfortunately I don't actually have enough of these guys. I should be able to have two more but I can't. So we're going to be good with just these. I know I have a minion slot free but I'll probably set that to iron in the meantime. Uh, but now I need to grab all of the lava buckets, and I'm pretty sure these guys can handle lava buckets. Because last time I tried to use this terra farm, it actually got completely overwhelmed, and I couldn't really use it properly, because the hoppers were getting full of string, I didn't route it correctly. But hopefully they should be able to handle this, uh, but I'm not sure if they will be able to, so we'll just kind of have to hope. Uh, also, I know it says they, they can't, like, spawn, I need to fix their location. Uh, if you don't know how to do that... Uh, I know a lot of people were asking what this design was for my tarantula farm. I'll kind of show you how it works in this clip at least a little bit. So basically, you just make a massive kind of chamber looking thing like this. Basically, just a giant tall box. And I don't know the exact height the box needs to be. Just be make it as high as you possibly can. Uh, there we go. And I'm actually going to run out of lava buckets. Wait, how am I out of lava? Oh, no, I'm not. I have one spare. Perfect. Okay, we'll go ahead and slap that back. Uh, the enchanted or person or super compactors ain't gonna save these tier ones from having enough space. So I'm not gonna worry about it. But basically, we just make it like this, and then all of the spiders will fall down on the hoppers, and the hoppers go to chests. And to make it so they can actually, um, you know, stay and place spiders down, we're going to be using fence gates. And to do that, we need to get some wood here, so we'll get some wood. And to turn all the wood into planks. So there we go. Turn some of it into sticks. Uh, might need more sticks than that. And I think it's like this. I never remember how to actually make fence gates. There we go. We can make those. And we go back to the island. And I just dropped... Someone dropped a legendary item. And I don't know what that was. But oh well. I don't think it was me. So I think we're okay. <laughs> I just saw like a yellow tint that someone dropped. Maybe I'll check back in the footage and see what that was. Maybe it was a piece of wood. It might have been the sticks. I don't really know. But basically, we want to put some in the very center of this. So we're going to do it pretty much like this. And then place it like this, like this, and like that. And then break all these as quick as we can. Um, I'm going to grab an axe to break these a little bit faster because I'm worried they're going to spawn. Daedalus axe, go! Daedalus axe, go! Okay, I think we're good. And then we just open these and they should work like that. And how do you not have space to spawn? What if I break that one? Are you good? Are they all good? Okay, they're all good. So yeah, we'll just use two like that and that should be... Totally fine. But alright, there we go. That's the farm. And I'm going to leave these guys going for quite a long time. Several days at least. Maybe upwards of a week. And we should have enough string eventually. Now, to get this last shard of the shredded, I'll be doing some zombie slayer bosses with my friend Hi I Maz. And I guess if we drop anything cool, I'll be sure to show the clip. Oh, also, I have a setting turned on that makes rare drops appear absolutely massive and take up the entire screen because it's really funny. And I'm sure a few of you will ask what it's from. And the setting is called Big Item Size and Scale Item with Rarity. Both settings from Skyblock Extra's mod. Anyways, we've got some Slayer quests to do. Let the loot montage begin. Bro, he's... There. he's okay. Bro! <laughs> I was, was, was going to say, like, Holy. what the heck? Oh, please! No! <laughs> I am so I'm sorry, Toad. I'm sorry. No! <laughs> That's that's like my second good RNG drop though. Well, rep trading with you. So that's kind of sad that it's only been two. And one was a smite seven worth of mill coins. That was the last one I needed. It was loot share too. It wait it all it was. It was loot share. No. Yep. 
There we go. Is that a Smite 7? Oh, that was a Smite 7. I'm so mad. That's your second Smite 7. <laughs> That's not Technic fair. Technically, from the amount of revs I've done with you, this is still very unlucky. Oh. Come on. Please, just oh. no! Oh. Come on! Oh. Come on! Come on! Oh, oh, really? I don't need that. <laughs> <laughs> I've never been disappointed to get a crazy rare drop. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. No, wait, I don't think you... I recorded it. I didn't. You're gonna have to use Shadow Play. Uh, no, because Shadow Play wasn't on either. Wait. I literally just didn't record my last shard drop. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Okay, no, I, I gotta didn't. hope that you actually. It's recording able... now, but no, I got it. It was on my own boss. It's not insane drop. <laughs> oh <my laughs> God. There we go. That's the last shard we needed for the axe of the shredded. But I don't have enough Viscera, so we're gonna keep going. Oh, oh, nice, nice, nice. Nice. I'll take it. <laughs> Please don't What's drop a heart here. Uh, oh, I gotta be headed. <laughs> yeah, I saw that. <laughs> oh. Nice. Except, oh. you know, you don't need it. No, it was a loot shared shard. Loot shared shard. Oh, yeah. yeah. No. <laughs> hey, that was you both loot shared. That's so dumb. <laughs> that could have been a warded heart! That's not fair! Ah. Everything oh. must die, everything must die. No, please! Why? Oh. Why? You definitely needed that. But why? You, you really needed that. Uh, wait, I gotta hit yours. Oh. I, I just oh, got no. two. No. I just got two at once. I, I, I two just snake runes? No, I just got those from the oh. same bot. Oh, that, oh, that's. <laughs> oh, I mean, you... there's a clip. I mean. Oh, please, no. Nice snake. Wait, oh, I got. <laughs> Did you get beheaded? I got oh. that as well. Oh, Woo! oh, no. Okay, that's another clip. Oh, a smite seven! Yo, what? Yo? <laughs> Dude, no way! Dude, I was just trying to get the last Viscera for my Axe of the Shredded. And I have a smite seven, what? Yo, I wanted this so badly, let's go, all right. I guess that's a smite seven, so we'll take it. We now have gotten everything that we've wanted ever from Rev Slayer, except, well, four Viscera, which will take me two minutes, and then the Warden Heart. Hey, we're done! I have to do one more though because my mini boss is right here. Hello. But we're done! We have all of the viscera. I'm pretty darn sure at least. I'm like 99% sure that we have all the viscera. But I'm stuck doing this last boss because I didn't want to leave that super mini boss hanging, you know. Could I please use my ability? There we go. And then get him out of here, please. Thank you. We're done! We can finally make the axe of the shredded. Let's get out of here. Uh, I actually got a beheaded and a smite seven trying to get the last nine viscera, which is, you know, Somewhat funny, but uh, let's go ahead. Let's throw all these away. I no longer need that We have that to put away. We have that and those to put away. We have some flesh. I got 40 foul flesh That's actually kind of ridiculous. Oh wait, I have all the smite books as well. I got a dumb amount. Wow, this chest is pretty much full now That's actually kind of crazy. 
But let's go ahead, let's grab all of that, put those away, and let's throw the viscera in there, and we'll actually need to grab it. Oh, we don't need to grab that one, okay. Uh, now what I need to do is grab the string, so let's do that. And then, of course, the absolute abundance of rev flesh as well. Let's not sell everything, that would be dumb. Let's not mess up the crafting, because that would also be, you know, equally dumb. But there we go, that should be enough. And there we go, we can do that, and almost. We have 17, we need two more. So this is the last inventory of rev flesh that I'll ever need to use. And there we go, there's all 19 pieces. Go ahead and throw that back in that. And then of course the string away as well. Let's grab all of this and there we have it, four stacks of revenant viscera. Let's grab our four shard of the shredded's and you know what, let's use the first four shards that we got. You know, these are a little bit more special. And let's make the axe of the shredded. This will be the first time I have ever owned an axe of the shredded and of course I craft it the wrong way. But there it is, the Axe of the Shredded. Look at that, it looks so unbelievably fancy. And we get a second um, gemstone slot as well. But basically this is going from 162 damage, 322 strength, to 184 damage, 374.5 strength. Uh, crit damage stays the same. And it loses the intelligence stat? What? That's kind of dumb, but you know what? Hey, can't complain about that. We now heal 50 hearts per hit instead of 10 and deal 250% damage to zombies instead of 200, and we gain, instead of 20% less damage from zombies, we now take 25% less damage from zombies. We also get a fancy ability where you right-click it and it does damage. I'm not really too sure how this thing works. We're gonna have to experiment with, 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 it, with it for a bit. Wow, I'm losing the ability to talk for some reason. But it's like the more you right-click in a row, the more damage it deals, and it uses so much mana that we're eventually gonna want to put ultimate wise five on this thing actually but for now it's gonna stay a storm too because i don't actually have that many ultimate wise books but here it is the iron man axe of the shredded and my first ever axe of the shredded i've owned in skyblock is done check that out actually before we go ahead and test this out it turns out i do have enough books to make this ultimate wise five so let's go ahead and combine all of these to make ultimate wise five they'll make level three all of these should go ahead and make level three in the corners right here that's kind of how I set it up, and I'm pretty sure I have exactly enough books to do this, which is kind of nice, so I don't want to mess this up at all. Uh, that's level 3, and then that'll be level 4. This will be level 4, and then this will be level 5. And it's going to take 223 levels to apply it to the axe, which we do indeed have. So there it is. That is Ultimate Wise 5 going on the axe of the shred. This will let us use the ability a lot more, and it will do significantly more damage. So boom, there we go. Now, there's also a thing where you're supposed to put Mana Steel on this instead of Siphon. For now, I'm going to keep this on Siphon at least for a little bit. Maybe when it comes around during Derpy, if we don't have the Warden Heart yet, I'll switch it to Mana Steel so we get higher mana and I can take out the boss slightly faster. But I think for now, uh, just because I don't have many Mana Steel books, I'm going to leave it how it is. Okay, so like, I wanted to practice with the Axe a little bit to get used to its ability before showing its full potential in the video. But this thing is overpowered! It's so good! Okay, so, we're gonna do a couple bosses and test our time, just like last video, and see how fast we can take them out. Uh, my current personal record is 6.42 seconds with the Reaper Falchion. And, uh, I've gotten faster times with this axe. A lot faster. So, I'm gonna do a couple bosses and really kinda try and get a really good boss to show you what, uh, how good this axe is. So, let's go in the corner here. And let's do this. Alright, and then we just spam left and right click and just kind of get him down, get him down, get him down. And alright, that one wasn't that fast. But 4.8! Look at that! Look at that! Almost two seconds ahead of the, uh, Reaper Falchion, which is absolutely nuts. And that was not one of the better, uh, bosses I've done. Since I was stuck against a wall a little bit too much, the actual, um, axe ability wasn't really hitting very well. So you want to kind of stay a little bit far away. Does this have ferocity? For some reason, I swear, I'm getting more ferocity procs with this axe than I get usually without it, which is kind of interesting, but maybe that's just part of it. So we'll do this, and now we'll do this, and we'll kind of just, like, back up while hitting it, and look how fast it dies! Look at that! That's so dumb, 4.7. I'm consistently getting under 5-second bosses. Uh, I got one 5.1, but most of these, like, 4.8, 4.3, This is just... This is overpowered. This is, this is the coolest thing ever. This is... 100% absolutely worth getting, and is going to make rev trading and getting this Warden Heart so, so much more tolerable. I can't wait. We're definitely going to get it soon. I'm pretty sure this axe pierces. Yeah, it looks like it does. So let's do that. Um, I am only one kill away now. I would like to get something kind of down here. I want to try and stack up 
a little bit. If I place down the Plasma Flux, let's try and get a really, really fast boss here. So I'm trying to get all my mana. And then we're just going to start stacking a little bit here. And now we're going to go ahead and do it. And come on, come on. Now I should be dealing way more damage with it. And there we go. Was that 4.2? That's a new record. Oh my gosh. We almost got under 4.2. This is overpowered. This is this is so fun. I don't want to stop using it. This is so great. Uh, I have to learn how to Daedalus swap with it. I'm going to try and Daedalus Axe swap with it now for the Magic Find. No idea how that's going to go since it's going to be a lot harder to like time and switch while I'm using the Axe ability and stuff. But we'll give it a try. We'll see if it's, you know, doable or not. Um, I don't know about putting Mana Steel on it, but if you were Rev Trading, I can absolutely see why Mana Steel would be important for this. Because you'd run out of mana so fast. All right. So we'll do this, we'll do this, and we just spam it. I think we just go into like F5 or something here. And when it gets a little bit low, we swap to the Daedalus Axe, and I guess that's kind of okay. I usually get about 10 second bosses with the Daedalus Axe. Yep, okay. So it's probably around the save if you're swapping with Daedalus Axe, but during Derpy, this thing is going to be absolutely insane for t taking out bosses. We're talking like maybe five, six second bosses during Derpy. I can't wait to try this out. But I'm probably, I think I'm going to call it there. So I guess if you guys enjoyed the episode, hit the like button down below. Do all the YouTube stuff, hit the subscribe button. I'm going to be uploading a lot. I'm trying to get this word in heart, so do that. <laughs> and that's it for today. Take care.